Hey y'all, I decided to come and I guess finish my lunch and do a mukbang. Why not? My sandwich is falling apart. It's not going as planned. At all. Mm. Don't y'all hate that? Okay, I'm gonna have a deconstructed sandwich. So I'm in my car. Um I came outside because it was noisy inside, so. I was just, um. I was like, let me just go outside because I haven't sat in my car in eight in a minute. Oh, yeah. Um. What did y'all do last weekend? Me and my uh, two daughters went um, downtown LA because I'm from we from LA. We went downtown LA to um, Blue Jam Cafe. That's where my youngest daughter wanted to um, eat for brunch. We were celebrating her birthday. Her birthday was actually Friday, February fourth, but she was with her boyfriend, so we celebrated it. Me, her, and my daughter, my oldest daughter, celebrated it on. Um, Saturday it was a nice day. It was a beautiful day. They took pictures and videos and stuff down there. You know how young, beautiful girls do. And um, the food was amazing. The food, it wasn't hot as I wanted it to come. You know, like when you get food from a restaurant, you want it to come to you hot. But it's like outside, but it's inside. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like, if you go outside of a mall or something, and then they might have a restaurant in there, but you could sit on the outside of the restaurant but it's not outside outside but it's still that breeze that comes there and it just makes um the food not be really hot when you when it gets to you and i think they're known for their um crispy french toast it was so good they have blueberries and strawberries i'm gonna put i don't know if i'm gonna put a clip in this video but i am going to share a video of the food and how it looked and everything but it was amazing if you're ever in downtown la if you're living in downtown la or in LA County or you visiting definitely check them out Blue Jam Cafe yeah so anyways um Valentine's Day is Monday I love Valentine's Day it's so beautiful and I'm trying to figure out what did I do last year but I'm not really doing anything this year well, you know, I always talk about <laughs> being single. <laughs> I've been single for seven years, y'all. I've been divorced for seven years and almost two months now. And, child, it is not fun. You know, just, but sometimes, I mean, I like being single because I don't like drama. Um... You know when you're dealing with a man, when y'all arguing and stuff like that, mm -mm. I don't have patience for that no more. But somebody to spend time with, somebody to care about you, you know, Valentine's Day come up or any day, and they want to make you feel special. That's what I miss. But I ain't desperate though. I'm not desperate. I mean, I met like um a few guys and they was all losers.
Many, but they didn't want nothing. They just want to have sex. That's it. Nothing serious. Liars. Mm -mm. I ain't got time for that. I want to have fun. The kind of fun I like to have, like, go out to eat or a play or to the park or for walks, you know, go for a long drive or the museum or listen to music. I don't, you know, I don't mind a little dancing. I'm not a club person, but I don't mind a little dancing, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I do like foreigners though, y'all. Like, Jamaicans or Africans. My husband was Nigerian. That's why I have that last name. But mm -mm. I don't want to ever in my life again go out with another Nigerian. Ever. The last three guys that I met, which no. The last four guys I met in the last seven years, one guy he was Nigerian. That was short lived. Like we just met up one day, and that was it. We just met in person. Now. They live in another country anyway, so. But he was Nigerian, full of shit. He was full of shit, and then there was um um another guy I had met. He was a taxi driver. And he lived in Florida when I was in Florida. That was like 2016. I was in Florida for like five and a half, six months, something like that. But he was Nigerian. He was full of crap. But he used to give me free taxi rides though. <laughs> uh, to work. He sure did. <coughs> well, I only needed him on Sundays because that's when the bus didn't run. But yeah, he sure did pick me up, take me to work and pick me up sometimes on Sundays. Because, uh, um bus wouldn't run in that area where my job was. Excuse me. And then this other guy that I met, he was Nigerian. And I met him like maybe like three years ago. Was it two years ago or three years ago? No, I think it was three years ago. I met him and this other Nigerian that I seen one day. And he lived in another country. I met them, like, a, maybe a couple of months apart. And it was just, like, three years ago, y'all. So, the first one I met in 2016, he just gave me rides. He wanted some stuff that I didn't want. So, I didn't, I didn't kick it with him or nothing like that. But he was just, he was weird. He was Nigerian. And then, and that was in Florida. That was 2016. <laughs> and then, three years ago, I met two Nigerians. One at the beginning of 2019, one at the end of 2019, and the one that I met at the beginning, I seen him a couple of times, and they was just hookups, y'all, but I ain't mad, though, because he was, mm, yeah, he was good, y'all, yeah, so, 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 mm, yeah, um, But, I mean, we've talked since then, but it never turned into anything. I think because he's married. I think he married. He said he's not. Uh, when I call people on their stuff, people always get mad when I call them out. Like, you know your your intuition, your, your first thoughts usually is your right thoughts. People try to persuade you otherwise and make you think that that's not true or whatever, but it is. He had, because he always said he worked late, right? And then he would talk to me like early, early, early in the morning. He was calling me like early in the morning. But then when it come to nighttime, he like in the garage or something talking to me. And then when I call him, he don't answer the phone. He say, oh, I was asleep every single time. So, I mean, come on, y'all. I was just like, he either lived with a woman or he married. But 
I don't know that 100%, but that's what my gut tell me. So it's good that, you know, nothing happened between me and him. You know, we hooked up a couple of times, you know, but after that, you know, it's just, it is what it is. But and uh, he follows me. We follow each other, I think, on Instagram. And um, when I be hearing this man talk about um, people lying and, and, and cheating, and I be like, I'm like, who is this? Who, who is this? I, I know so many different guys. And it's another friend that I have. And he he's my friend on Facebook, though. I've been knowing this man since, like, I had to meet him in, like, 2014. And then, you know, so whatever happened, I'll tell y'all the story one day. Um, me and my foolishness. Whatever happened, happened. And then, um, so we, we fell out, like, 2007. And then I didn't hear from him. We didn't, like, reconnect till 2016. Was 2016? Yeah, 2016 before I went to Florida. Like, right before I went to Florida, that's when me and him connected. Back, you know, over the phone or whatever. But then I didn't even finally see him. So I hadn't seen him from 20, 20, 2007 till uh, 2018. We actually physically seen each other 2018. He uh, flew out here from, um, I think he was in Texas at the time. And he flew to L.A. And, you know, it was, it was cool or whatever. But, you yeah, know, he full of shit, too. And it's funny because when I see him on Facebook, he share all this positive stuff. And, like, he's just such a dignitary and, and, and he's, like, in the upper echelon of the world. You know, he worked for airlines and, and he, um, what, you know, he always on first class flights and stuff, business class or whatever. Because he worked for the airlines. Not because he got money like that. Okay. Ugh. Is when I see people and they so fake, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Most of the people online are fake. Is you know what? And I'm trying. Not to, I don't want to be cursing this stuff over here. But it might something might slip up. But I'm just saying, most of the people on here are so fake. Like I'm when I'm looking at, I'm like, who is this? Because this ain't the person that was just doing all that nasty, freaky d child. Boy, I'm telling y'all, people are so full of it. I was like. Popo. But anyways, um, y'all, so I'm just like, I'm over Africans. I, I'm done. No disrespect to African people. Everybody had their own experiences, but mine have not been good at all. But you know what, though? My ex-husband is not the worst person in the world. I ain't gonna even say that. We had issues or whatever, but he cool as heck, though. I ain't gonna even lie. He full of shit, too. But in the, he full of shit, but he the kind of person that you could be around, you be cool, chilling, like he funny as I don't know what. So I ain't only was saying it's not like I I hate them, but I don't want to deal with them no more. I'm cool because I'm telling the lying. It's the lying. Yes, American men lie too, but I ain't dealt with American men in years and years and years. Okay, I haven't dealt with American men. The last American man I was with, or I kicked it with, I should say, was probably 1990. I think it was 1998, the earlier part of 1998, yeah. I don't deal with American men like that. I mean, if I met a wonderful American man, I probably would. I think I just like the, the, I don't know, it's just such a turn on for me to accents and stuff, you know. But let me tell you something, I give so many, I have dated a man that wasn't that attractive, but it was something else about them that I like. I have, well, I don't even say date, I'm just going to call these people hookups, because was they dating them? Was I dating them? I don't even know. It wasn't nothing serious though, because I've been single forever. My the only relationship I've ever been in was the one with my ex-husband. All the other time I was single, so whatever I did with whoever I did it with, it didn't even matter because I was single. But um I ain't even eating my food, y'all. I keep looking, y'all, because you know you just got to watch yourself when you're out. But anyways, um Yeah, I just, I think I just like, um, I like the arrogancy that, that foreigners have, especially Nigerians. They so arrogant. Oh, they think they so much better than everybody else. But, you know, when I'm talking to one, <laughs> y'all gonna meet y'all match, baby, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you down to a normal level. You know what I'm saying? And make you know, boy, bye. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read you from top to bottom. Yep. Because I feel like. 
I'll be all over the place sometime, y'all. So please forgive me. I, I I talk like I'll be talking about one thing, then I jump to something else. So please forgive me, y'all. But anyways, um, what was I saying? About how I don't want to date any more Nigerians. Yes. But let me tell y'all what I really like, though. A Jamaican. Oh, my God. And the last one I had was amazing. Ooh, baby. Mm, mm, mm. But we wasn't in a relationship. I think he stayed with me for like... Mm, I don't know, like... A few months, maybe? Mm -hmm. But anyway, we was like on and off for a long time. Like we would be kicking it and then we would make each other mad or he'll make me mad. And I curse him out or something like that. And then we wouldn't even be talking for like six months. But he'll be watching me now. Why the police keep coming up in here? They looking for somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, ain't going up in the building. Mm-hmm. But anyway, yeah, I'm talking about this because Valentine's Day coming up, and I'm single. But when I tell y'all, oh, let me tell you something. The only thing about Jamaican people is that Jamaican men, they so mysterious. They so secretive. I don't like that because I already, I'm paranoid. But the thing about him, though, because most of the time he was honest. Even if he was with other people, he would, would tell me. We wasn't in a relationship, though. We just, I don't know if you ever experienced you dealing with a man and y'all not in a relationship, but he effing with you. He don't want you to effing with nobody else. But this man, you wake up to this man, you go to bed with this man, this man come make sure that you're good, you have lunch. You know what I'm saying? It's like we in a relationship, but we not in a relationship. I don't know. It's like, I don't know, some people just don't want that commitment thing. So if they do do something, then it won't be like they cheated on you or something. You know what I'm saying? So. Um. My napkin's in my trunk. There's stuff going on over here, y'all. I don't know. But, um, um, I don't know. It's like he would come home on time. He wasn't like one of the kind of people that want to stay out in the streets all night. Mm hmm. He used to do some weird stuff, though, but. Baby, when I thought he was good in bed, my God. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Now, he wasn't the only Jamaican I ever been with, but ooh, I'm gonna tell you, the Jamaica all the Jamaicans I didn't deal with, they they got the bed game on lock, I swear. I know it's more than that, but if that's all y'all relationship is based on, then that's what it is. And I'll tell you, he was, oh, he was so good in bed. Oof. I'm going to tell you something. I love a man. I ain't got to tell him what to do. I ain't got to tell him how to touch me. I ain't got to tell him what I want. I ain't got to tell him how to do it. He just know. Because he's studying. You know, I feel like you, you need to study the person that you're dealing with. Even if it's just a sex buddy. If it's a homie, lover, friend, sex buddy, whatever type of relationship it is, you need to study them so you know what they like. If you're intimate with that person, you need to know what they like. You don't have to really say anything. It's just like when you do certain things, it's like, oh, does that make them feel some type of way? You know what I'm saying? So, so you will know. But when I tell you, baby, Jamaican men, when God was giving out sex game, they was at the top of the line. They was in the front. You hear me? In the front of the line. Baby. I don't know. I don't know.
Mm-mm. Well, I know a lot of Nigerians are not... They're cool. They're cool. My cousin. <laughs> I'm going to say... When me and him first met in person... And that was in 2009. We met online, but in 2008, but we actually met in person. We got married in 2009. Now, his sex game was good then, but I feel like I had to tell him a few little things, you know. But it was good. But, baby, when I tell you, <laughs> since me and that man been divorced, and when we have hooked up, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, I have taught you well, because, baby, you have learned a good lesson, okay? I mean, mm. let me not think about them too much. Mm -mm. He was good, y'all. Ooh, so... I don't know. Him and the Jamaican, they might be. I think with the other Jamaicans I was with, they was good too, though. They was amazing too, but. Mm, I don't know who was better. I think because the, the connection that me and the Jamaican guy, we're going to call him K, the connection that me and him had was, it was physical. I think it was just a physical thing, but there was some care, some love there. But not like me being in love with him, nothing like that. Him being in love with me, nothing like that. He loved me as a person, whatever. You know, so the sex was just like, we was both like connected in that way. You know what I'm saying? To each other. But now as far as my ex-husband... Oh, he might have the edge because I, I ain't never loved nobody the way that I loved him, right? So I was, he was the only man that I've ever been in love with. Well, no. Was I in love with him, though? Okay, I might have been in love with somebody else once before. But not, it was, it was a, it was like, ooh, that was the first person that's ever been nice to me because I was fresh out. You know, I was a virgin, and then I was with an American guy. That's who I had two kids with. And then later on, I met somebody that my, that's my youngest daughter's father. And then I think that made me fall in love with him because the way he treated my kids, and my kids loved him so much, and he was so good to them. You know, he wasn't the best to me, but he was good to them. And, um... Uh, and still to this day, if they need anything, he'll, he'll, he'll be there for them. But anyway, so I, yeah, but my ex-husband, the way I love him, ooh, I ain't never loved nobody like that. That's why, like, even if he, like, do something or disappear or I don't see him for a year, whatever, and I can see him and I still be cool with him because he is who he is and, you know. I have genuinely love. I ju I genuinely have love for him. I'm not in love with him anymore, but I love him. You understand know what I'm saying? I have a place in my heart for him that nobody else could ever have. You feel me? So I think me having that connection with him. So since we've been divorced, we have slept together. So um, I ain't gonna tell y'all when the last time it was because ain't y'all business. But maybe one day I will. <laughs> because I don't know what situation he in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to start. But anyway, um. So I think because you can definitely tell when me and him are around each other that there's some love there. And so I think that, so when, when we actually do have sex, make love, whatever you want to call it, it's real passion. It's real like, this is my person. You feel me? So that's what makes it so explosive and, and just like intense and you know what I'm saying? So because of that, he might have an edge over the Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. hmm. Anyway, let me stop thinking about that, y'all. But anyway, y'all, I've been on here like 25 minutes just rambling. <laughs> Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and even though I didn't only ate half of my sandwich, so I guess I'll eat the other half later. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing, uh, what's today, Wednesday, and the rest of the week, and, you know, make sure that you guys, um, prepare for Valentine's Day. The men... It's always enough money to make sure that that lady that you have or whatever feels special. There's no excuses why you can't go buy somebody a gift. Dollar Tree. You know what? I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to look at some stuff and tell y'all some ideas on what y'all can get somebody. If y'all ain't got no money, y'all just broke. Y'all just live paycheck to paycheck. And, and, and y'all done spent all y'all money on bills or whatever. All y'all got is $10 or $5. I'm going to give y'all some good ideas because... I think women just like to be remembered. Women just like to feel that you noticed them or uh, thought they were special this day. You should make somebody feel special as much as possible, not only on holidays, but because it's Valentine's Day, you got to do something extra special. You know what I'm saying? But I do understand sometimes people just don't have money. So, you know, there are things you can do. But anyway, I'm going to do that in another video. So thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube. Share this video with everybody that you can. And I'll see you when I see you, I guess. Next time, y'all have a great day. This was Keisha.